So for today, we're going to be taking a five minute walk and you're gonna be doing that same movement where we're inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth and flattening that belly on our exhale. So we're gonna just do that for five minutes. You can do this on a treadmill, you can do this outside if it's nice, or you can walk in a designated area inside of your home. And I just want you to take your time, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Just as you're walking, pay attention to your feet, try to get them to be straight. So a lot of mindfulness. Complete connection with your body for five minutes walking either back and forth or if you're outside and you have a stroller, um, it's actually a good idea. If you can get outside with the stroller, it would be even better for you. So with the stroller, let's just say the rails are right here, your elbows are like this, and you know, you go for the inhale, you're walking, and on the exhale, you're gonna just push your arms out, exhaling, and that should help you to empty out the air even more because it's a lot heavier. So you're putting kind of an overload on your abs, getting the air out more. So it's actually even better if you can get outside and pack a couple of kids in the stroller and just really, or you can take the pause, so inhale, and then you can stop walking all together and just, push it out and then start walking again. So kind of experiment with that a little bit, see what weight feels best for you. Again, if any discomfort arises, you wanna stop immediately. We are not pushing ourselves like crazy. This is a very comfortable process of getting to know and really connect with our abdominal muscles. So you're gonna do that just for five minutes. All right, now I hope you had a great walk. Let's go ahead and relax on the floor for a little bit. I'm gonna let you decide which breathing exercise you wanna to do today. Which one did you feel best doing? Did you feel best doing the child pose one or the one where you're like this? So I'm gonna set the timer for five minutes. You're gonna pick which exercise or maybe you wanna do um, both of them and just be mindful of the time. Just for five minutes, I want you to either stick to one movement or just rotate between the two and just really take your time, inhaling through the nose, breathing into any restrictions in your back. And we're gonna just loosen our back a bit because I know that you are probably having some pain and this is really, really gonna help loosen all of that up so that you can make a lot of progress during these next few weeks. All right, so now that I've got you nice and relaxed, let's do a quick abdominal exercise to really connect even further with these muscles. All right, so you're gonna take a yoga ball or a pillow or something soft that you can squeeze in between your knees, um, preferably a yoga ball if you have one. And then we're going to lay on our backs with our knees bent and try to create a neutral spine. If you are like me and you're in an anterior tilt where your back is kind of curved like this, you may have to add a pillow underneath your bum or you should be able to get it out yourself by doing a pelvic tilt. So kind of just tilting that pelvis upwards should create a neutral spine. So think about pressing your spine into the ground. And if that doesn't work and you're already there, like you lay down and you were immediately there and you can't press your um, pelvis up, then you're probably in a posterior pelvic tilt, which means you're gonna wanna have an extra yoga ball and place that, or a foam roller, and place that underneath your back so that you can force an arch so that you can kind of get out of that and you have another ball in between your legs. Foam roller, another ball here, creating that curve in your spine without any pain as you're doing this exercise. So then we can break that 
posture right there as well. So for that, once you get that figured out, you're gonna lay on the ground and we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing. Inhale through the nose, expand those ribs, get that air to touch your back, go all the way down and come back out on your exhale. Squeeze the ball at the exact same time. Feel that deep muscle contracting. Now, the next one, I want to see if you can do a Kegel. Can you do a Kegel? Great. Most of us can. However, I want you to learn how to do a Kegel and lift up. So that should feel completely different than when you're just doing a Kegel squeeze and then Kegel lifting it up. Okay, so we're going to do that on the exhale. So let's inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, nice and slow, like you're blowing through a straw. Squeeze that ball, lift that pelvic floor up. Much stronger contraction than when you were walking, right? So we're gonna do that a couple of times. Here we go, inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. Squeeze that ball, lift that pelvic floor up. You don't want to squeeze too hard. I don't want your adductors to get tight. So just everything we're doing is nice and mellow. It's nothing forcefully done. We're not squeezing this ball with everything we've got. Everything's very gentle and slow, okay? So if you're applying a lot of pressure already, let's take it down a notch. Just relax, everything's very, very done in a nice and calm, controlled manner, okay? So here we go. Inhale through the nose, nice and slow. Expand those ribs, feel the air go down, touch your pelvic floor out through the mouth. Gently squeeze that ball, lift that pelvic floor. Empty that air, all of the air that you can from the belly, deep within the belly. The longer the better, okay? You don't have to keep up with me. So here we go again, we're gonna do that a couple more times. Inhale through the nose. Through the mouth. Gentle squeeze, lift the pelvic floor up. One more time, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Gentle squeeze, lift that pelvic floor up. Get that air out of your belly. And you may see that you're lasting longer and longer now. It's being more smoother, more controlled, less shakiness. Um, great job.